After months of preparation, the cars lined up, ready to chase the sun while offering a glimpse into the future. I knew a little bit about them, but um, it's surprising the technology. Pretty cool to see all the different styles of cars that have come out and how they've designed. And thoughts and fears heading out onto the Stewart Highway? Uh, just hoping that we can make it there with our team never has before, so we think we have a chance this time, but it's always nerves because it's such a long journey. Competitors leaving Darwin through the morning, with most reaching Catherine early afternoon. Some in good spirits. The road's been okay. There's uh, less road work than we thought, and it's been going great. Others more than a little road weary. It is the first time to do such a bumpy road, so it is. Uh, I have no idea what happened <laughs> in my car, so it is so surprised. While some competitors were challenged by the great territory outdoors, others faced hurdles from within their vehicles. Some forced to make pit stops with a difference. Battery officers are currently checking the battery and now they're discussing what the problem is, if it's a fixable problem, which we definitely hope that it is, and if we'll be able to continue the competition. An opportunity to take in the outback a small silver lining. I really enjoyed the termite hills. Um, they're cute to look at. They've got some nice architecture going on. Later in the day, the Dutch teams Twenty and Brunel were leading the pack, just ahead of reigning champions Inoptus from Belgium. But with thousands of kilometres to go in a gruelling test of endurance, there's plenty of time and space for anything to happen. Joseph Hathaway Wilson, ABC News.